And I know there's a lot of people who are going to disagree with my position on this. That's fine. Not everybody has to agree with me. If I legitimately thought that Vosh was advocating for things that would potentially bring harm to children, I would not be defending him here. I would not be defending him if I thought he actually believed in, you know, arguments in favor of child pornography. I would not be defending him if I actually believed he was in favor of sexual relationships between adults and minors. I would not be defending him for any of these things if this were true. I would be disavowing him. But the thing is, it's not true. And that's why I, I'm, I'm going to bat for him. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. What is up, everybody? It is your degenerate killer leader himself, degenerate killer Structor here. And today, my fellow degenerate killers, we got ourselves a huge, fat, fucking, like, degenerate, sloth-ass, snail, bitch-ass motherfucker himself, Tipster. We all know he doesn't have a tip down there, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, Tipster is getting a content burial. Why, you may be asking? Well... We'll start off with, of course, his recent drama. Now, how this all started, it involved, of course, our good old friend Vosh himself, the guy who I exposed for being a pedo and shit on and so forth. And let's just say Vosh had a slip up, and it goes like this. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. What? Yeah, this guy likes fucking horse cock, like, lollycon, hentai bullshit. It is some fucking weird shit. Now, Hate Street Hate Street Productions actually, like, made fun of this guy and called out his bullshit like any normal sane person would do. How did Tipster, like, respond? He was, he pretty much went to cops and go, Jimmy disappointed seeing what Hate Street Hate Street Productions did to Vosh earlier tonight. You think after everything Hassan's community as well as that in the past have done to misrepresent Ethan, he wouldn't be so quick to do the same to us. Yet here we are. We have to do the same out of context clip alt writers have used to defame Vosh time and time and again, whatever this is intended to be. There's one thing for sure this is not the move and is extremely bad of faith mis misinterpretation of Vosh. Uh, it, how exactly was it? Vosh goofed up and, like, you know, again, watch my fucking Vosh is a pedo video. Because some of those clips, even if you add the quote unquote context, it doesn't fucking matter. Just because, like, labor, you know, child labor is bad, doesn't mean we should be like, oh, gotta go to the CP argument, my guy. It's fucking retarded. It even got to the point where, ironically, Hate Street, Hate Street Productions actually fucking, like, like, quote, like, tweeted this bitch ass on Instagram, basically. Like, he pretty much just used it on his little story. It was fucking hilarious. And then Tipster goes on this fucking, like, artistic spree of going, pretty much misrepresent Ethan. So they're going, it's very telling when all the worst people are cheering you on. At this point, you might as well just say this. Like, what in the actual fuck? And it gets to the point where, yes, him and, of course, his, uh, his master, the disgusting transsexual tranny retard freak from Canada, Keffels, joins in. And they uh, just go on a complete spurg fest, as usual. Yeah, yeah. The horse? Yeah, something really funny happened. Something that we all should have just pointed and laughed at for a little bit and then moved on. And then you use that as an opportunity to try and make Vosh out to be a pedophile. Of course, nobody's going to be laughing at that shit because you're literally slapping a false allegation on someone. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just way too fucking far. Yeah. The double down. And it's just getting to me so much. The tonal whiplash of his coverage with this. Where it's like... He the accusations he's making are incredibly serious, but then he's treating it all like it's a joke. Yeah. Because if it's a joke, then why should anyone take it seriously? And if it's serious, why are you turning it into a joke? Yeah. Once the commentary community pretty much pounded this fat ass onto the fucking grill, yeah, tips are basically walked back everything. Like, the little bitch that he is, he pretty much made a narrow follow-up video saying, was I wrong to defend Vosh? And then, like, you know, he pretty much, once, like, Vosh did the whole context video thing, he's pretty much, like, just done. It's like, oh, mistakes were made, and so on and so forth. Yeah, this guy pretty much did a whole cope spree, went on this huge mental gymnastics, all for 
fucking to defend a degenerate. Are you that insanely down bad? The issue here is that, like, when you're talking about, like, hentai and anime and stuff like that, the art style is so ambiguous that sometimes you could be looking at a character that looks like an adult character and then you later find out it's not an adult character so it's not always like easy to tell if i could give you guys honest advice <laughs> when it comes to this kind of shit if you're into adult content stay the fuck away from hentai okay because you might see something that looks perfectly fine in hentai and then find out oh that's like a 16 year old girl well fuck that shit like just stay away from hentai if it, if i can give you guys honest to god advice stay away from that shit okay because you're just you're asking for fucking trouble at that point um so yeah when it comes to like the stuff that uh, is on was on vosh's computer that's not okay i'm not okay with that i'm willing to give him the charitability of hearing him out and saying hey According to him, I didn't realize what it was, but apparently it is Lolly, and that's not okay. I'm willing to give him the charitability of assuming that maybe this was an accident, and I don't want to jump to the conclusion that he's a pedophile over that shit. That's essentially my position when it comes to the stuff on his computer. You are coping, coping and seething. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yes, you're coping, coping and seething. Coping so hard. Coping, coping and you know, I can forgive this degeneracy to an extent if at least Tipser can take some criticism. Spoiler warning, he can't because he's a fat fucking retard who spends all day just fucking jerking off to like goth mommy porn. But anyway, so yeah, when it comes to like taking criticism, he can't do it very well. First one, me. So, I did a cringe a on this guy back in, like, last July, basically. And during around the 36-minute mark of that particular stream, I decided to, like, leave a little funny comment of one of his videos where I pretty much called him overweight and talentless. What I call him fat ass, but, you know, YouTube uh, doesn't exactly like that deformative language. Fuck you, politically correct bitches. But anyway, I would leave the comment as such, and then after a while, he would proceed to, to delete it, basically. I shit you fucking not. And after, like, some nonsense, he also blocked me. Like, LAMAL! Look at it. I'm actually gonna skip to the part. Imagine being a fan of this 16 part, comments. Um, where he says this. He's saying- this He barely has a- He barely has a fan base. Right, this is not true. You know, I'm just gonna, gonna say- with this video. But, but let's see. Sucks. I think I get more comments than him. <laughs> you are- Same with you. Depends on the video. So look, if you're uh, you're <laughs> you oh, fine. <laughs> there it is. Chad. There it fucking is. You are overweight. And are talentless. <laughs> so for this one, Tipser was called fat by someone in this chat. I can't really blame the guy because when you see this fucking no chin looking fucking like sculpture egg looking motherfucker. Yeah, I would probably call this guy fat. Because he's fat! Really fucking fat! So, yeah. How, how did he respond? Well... Adkins AJ551 in the chat says, Man, I'd be singing Coping and Seething in the shower too if I couldn't find my tip either. Lol. Well, I have to tell you. I have to tell you. Uh, I found my tip just fine when I was giving it to your fucking mom! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, I'm being so horny. Thank you, Daddy. I'll shut up. He's fat! For this last part, we gotta go to, of course, the one and only Killer Keemstar. Yeah, when it comes to Keemstar, yeah, he pretty much went on Tipster's stream more than once where he was pretty much calling his BS out, and Tipster did not react too kindly to Keemstar because Keemstar was just calling out his BS with Vosh. For children, which is an exact quote. Uh, hey, Keem. Thank you for showing up on the Happy Punch account. I have evidence that will put Tipster in jail this stream. Literally go fuck yourself, Keem. You are a disgusting human being, and I regret that I ever associated with you or ever defended you. You are a piece of trash. Go fuck yourself. Here, I'll ask you. Just follow up your no, I don't, I, I, you're no bad than You're no better than Ethan is right here, if not worse. Didn't even know that was Keem. Yeah, he runs Happy Punch. Not is the possession of child pornography immoral because it hurts people to make child pornography. Ban Skyfire News. That's also Keemstar. Thank you. 
Okay, yeah? Because you have to hurt children to make it. That's why it's immoral. It's not magically immoral. It's immoral because of the harm that is caused by it. I told you, Keem, you're not welcome in my chat. This is my, my chat is my fucking house. And you're not welcome here, you bald gnome bastard. Get the fuck out. So, do All right, when it comes to, like, tipsters content in general, it's fucking trash. Just really trash. And... I'll start out with, of course, the fact that this guy is just a copycat of, like, other channels. And what I mean by that is that when you watch Tipster's content, his crappy streams, he's really no different than any other, like, debate bro stream out there. Dollar Store Vosh, Xander Hall, you know, Vosh himself, the fucking, like, degenerate pedo-looking ass, even, like, Destiny, like, you know, even, like, Lasan, all these losers, you know... Tipster is just a copycat of those guys. Why would you need to watch Tipster when he's when you can literally watch anyone else? Any of those other people I mentioned, like just any other leftist creator in general who does like live streaming shit. With those people at least have their own original opinions and they stand out for all the wrong reasons, but still at least these fuckers stand out. Tipster is just basically the bland, you know, safe, of no name brand version of those creators. Even Xander Hall has a little bit of more personality, more originality. At least, like, you know, he at least does a somewhat decent job of copying Vosh. At least he stands out in his retardation, you know. At least he has, like, how I escaped the alt-right shit. At least he has that going for him. Fucking Tipster literally has nothing. This guy is a middle-aged has been that never was i mean he gets shit views for a good fucking reason when you watch his content it's so boring like good lord it's so fucking boring i remember doing my cringe-a-thon on this guy and i was getting fucking bored like just doing that shit because this guy would just go on and on like holy shit how does anyone watch this shit how long okay how long is let me look this up over here how long is the average playthrough of Starfield? How long is the average playthrough? It's about 40 hours, okay? This guy expects us to believe that a, a pronoun selection option on the screen, that's on the screen for maybe 10 seconds at most, and that you could completely miss if you weren't looking for it, you know what the worst thing about his content is? It's not his fucking shitty background that fucking makes the core and look like a fucking mansion. No, no. It's not that. It's not his fucking, like, retarded hat or something because he looks like he's fucking balding and shit. No, no, it's not that. It's not like this guy needs to fucking go to the gym or anything like that and lose some weight because this guy spends too much fucking time just, like, on Discord, like, jacking off the goth mommy shit while eating some fucking Little Caesars. No, no, it's not that. I can forgive all of that bullshit if this guy didn't have these fucking sound effects. Holy shit, these sound effects are annoying. Where, seriously, when you're trying to watch a tipster stream video, where the fuck, you can just be like hearing this guy talk like he's trying to sound like a boring milk toast, safe for work fucking like podcaster. But no, when you hear, start hearing this guy going, oh shit, oh shit, or like any other retarded sound effect, it's distracting, it's stupid. Like, are you trying to be quirky with it? No, because it's fucking lame, I can tell you that. It's honestly just ruins the fucking the video, the stream itself, okay? Like, if you want to do like a goofy podcast, or whatever that'd be one thing but like good lord you are a fucking like internet streamer personality that's the type of shit i should not be hearing at all how i feel like if, if you guys were watching this video how would you like if i decided to put like random sound effects while i'm fucking talking you would find it incredibly distracting and shit oh it's true it's damn true thank you very much i do appreciate that <laughs> Gay Fish in the chat says it's 500 subs and 3K watch hours for stream monetization and memberships, 1K subs and 4K watch hours like before for AdSense. Yes, that is correct. Thank you for uh, sharing the more accurate details with me. But they said it's over Wizzy Jizzy. You had your fun, but I'm a YouTube partner now, so none of y'all can touch me ever again. Enjoy watching me grow while your numbers shrink. Uh, it's been real, man. Maybe time to get a life now, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Says the guy. Goth mummies, 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 goth mummies. Okay, when it comes to Tipster and his little goth 
boner. Well, if you even call that tip a boner, that is. Yeah, this fat ass loves goth chicks and shit. And is fucking, like, to the most weird extreme. And I find it weird it's because he has a wife. I mean, I get it. Your wife's not the best looking. I, I get it. You need to probably be down bad. You watch too much porn. You're a little into anime way too much. You're a fucking loser. You know, I, I get it, you know. It's hard fucking getting much satisfaction when you have your wife like that. I, I get it. But for God's sakes, you're a fucking married tipster. Have some class. Have some self-respect. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just realized if Keffels was in a full-on goth outfit, Tipser would probably start jerking off on the timeline. I could just see it now. Keffels in some, like, you know, dominatrix, like, goth look. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, te- fucking Tipser would just be, like, you know, on his knees begging to fuck Keffels. I guarantee fucking do you. Yeah, trannies. Yeah, Tipser is quite the tranny lover. He's clearly at the tippy top of, I love trannies more than like anyone else. And I think he loves trannies more than straight people, honestly. Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't try to get divorced from his fucking wife, honestly. What's the fucking big loss that you're going to get? It's not like you do anything else for a living other than crappy streams and talking with trans people. For no fucking reason. It has nothing else to do with them at the moment but a random issue. It can be literally a random issue like Israel and Palestine or something. Be like, well, at least those right-wingers aren't talking about fucking trans people. I'm just like, what? What does that have to literally do with this? Oh, don't believe me? Look. Really like what's going on in the, the, with the Israel-Palestine conflict right now. Uh, you know, it's a serious issue, so I'm not trying to make light of it or whatever. But one yeah. positive thing that's come out of it is... Right wingers uh, have been busy talking about that uh, and aren't really shitting on trans people anymore. So that's a plus, right? Ah, yes, Keffels, fucking the ultimate like goth mommy trainee that fucking tips or loves. All I need to do for Keffels is put on some fucking like eyeliner, some black lipstick, some a dress, you name it, just fucking some boots. And bada boom, tips is gonna be coming for days. Oh my! But, you know, all kidding aside, when it comes to, like, Tipster and Keffels, yeah, whatever Keffels is doing, Tips is right on cue to talk about her like a good little dog. Whatever Keffels says, Tipster agrees. I literally, I bet you fucking Keffels told Tipster to kill himself for the benefit of, like, the trans community. You know that fucking Tipster will find some way to do it. Well, he's already doing a good job by eating himself to death, so maybe she already told him to do that in secret. Who knows? But anyway, when it also comes down to this shit, like... Good luck. When you see these two, like, interact, it is fucking, like, cringe. It is so fucking, like, sad and just pathetic. I just can't fucking take this shit. Just watch this random example here. So, obviously, we're going to be talking today about Keffels. Keffels is uh, the talk of the town yet again on social media because of... Uh, we really started with a video that was put out recently uh, that we're going to be taking a brief look at. And you've watched the whole video, right? All right, closing thoughts. Yeah, fuck Tipster. This guy's fucking shit. He's probably one of the worst YouTubers of all time. But since he's so fucking irrelevant, no one really gives a shit about him. This guy is a fucking dead channel. He has, like, what, over 100k plus subscribers? No one really cares. This guy is literally a laughingstock. This guy's a fucking meme. No one likes this guy in the commentary community. He's, like, the butt end of the joke. When you think of, like, the tippy top of the joke, Tipster is, ironically, the guy who comes at the tippy top of it. Like, seriously, I can't think of anyone who's more mockable and more unlikable in terms of, like, physical appearance than fucking Tipster. And it's fucking funny. This guy has the most deranged fucking takes possible when it comes to, like, Lollicon and shit like that. This guy has been on this Lollicon hill for, like, the fourth time at this point. Yeah, I'm not even shitting him with that. Like, totally shit. This guy is that down fucking bad. And this guy has said some really sus shit, like, Sheik's concerns are having an underage girl's nude so Kate. Like, what? What does that have to do with anything? Like, bro, you're fucking weird. And, like, you're talking about, like, all pedos who aren't attracted to people who look young. It's like, uh, they're attracted to people who are young? Uh, are you sure about that? Like, where's your fucking logic? It's like, jeez Louise. Tips are, you fucking suck. Your editing, when you do streams, is shit. You want you honestly just take constant L's. You're just fucking a complete fucking weirdo. You're a loser. You need to stop watching porn. You need to go back to loving your wife. You need to just quit YouTube, honestly. The best thing you can do for your career is quit YouTube. Go to the gym. Start losing some weight. Stop fucking going to like Dunkin' Donuts and shit like that and Burger King for like lunch and supper and shit. Start spending time with your fucking wife and you'll be just fine. 
this shit is not for you, my guy. You're clearly a fucking, like, has-been that needs to quit. You're an old dog that, honestly, it's time to put you down, boy. That's what it feels like. But anyway, hope you'll enjoy this little burial. Take care, and of course, fuck tipster.